before calibrating, review and complete each one of the three instructional videos shown on the screen, as they are prerequisites before calibrating any axis on the saw. If any part of these three steps is not accurate before you calibrate the length, angle, and center line, then calibration will not work. Calibrating the angle on the Cyber AT saw. Grab a straight 10 foot 2x4 or 2x6. The 2x6 is better because when calibrating the angle, you get a much better 90 degree showing with the framing square. In semi auto mode, touch the All Home button to move all blades to 90 degrees and then initiate setup. The cutting procedure is as follows. Touch main menu and then manual. On the manual screen touch start 2 and start 3. Now jog the NP conveyor forward until blade 2 and 3 have cut through the board. Now reverse jog the NP conveyor until the board comes all the way back out of the saw. Use the framing square to check to see if the angle is at a true 90 degrees for the saw blade you are calibrating. If it is not, touch the angle button for the direction the saw blade in question needs to go to get a true 90 degree showing. Shorten the length setting at least 2 inches and recut. Once you have a true 90 degree showing on the framing square, touch main menu then calibrate. On the axis calibration screen, touch the saw blade you are calibrating. In this example, saw blade 2. Touch the set button for the angle and a keypad will appear. On the keypad, enter the number 9000 for the true 90 degree angle and touch OK. The calibration for saw blade 2 angle is now complete. When checking the angle on saw blades 1 and 4, you can leave blades 2 and 3 in the cut to trim off the ends of the board before it reaches blades 1 and 4, but you may prefer to move blades 2 and 3 up out of the way. If leaving them in the cut, follow the cutting procedure used earlier to set all four blades at 90 degrees and start their motors. If moving them out of cut, Make sure the length of the board is not too long since blades 2 and 3 are not going to trim off the board. Touch main menu and then semi auto. On blades 2 and 3 touch the out button then initiate setup and they will move out of the cut. If using this method follow the cutting procedure to set blades 1 and 4 to 90 degrees and start their motors. For blades 5 and 6, it is best to calibrate them at 45 degrees. You can leave blades 1 through 4 in the cut. On the manual screen, move blades 5 and or 6 to 45 degrees. Start all saw blades and in feed conveyor. Once the board is cut by blades 5 and or 6 and out of the saw, Use the framing square to check for a true 45 degree angle. Place one side of it along the 45 degree cut with a solid inch number on the framing square at the top of the 45 degree cut. Whatever inch number you place at the top of the angle, the same inch number on the opposite side of the framing square should show at the top of the board. For example, if the inch number you used is 4 at the top of the 45 degree angle, then the number 4 on the opposite side of the framing square should show at the top of the board to indicate a true 45 degrees. If it is not true, follow the same procedure to adjust the angle in the needed direction to get a true 45 degrees. Once you have a true 45 degrees, enter the number 4500 on the keypad and touch OK.